Hi guys, on this video we go on a weekend break in Stoke-on-Trent in Staffordshire. From South Yorkshire, we take the scenic route with one of the England's most picturesque landscape and amazing views, the Peak District. Peak District is known for its dramatic moorlands, rolling hills and stunning landscapes. A look at that view. There are many places to visit in Peak District. Matlak, ba Matlak Bath is a pretty place to visit in Derbyshire among other historic towns and houses like Chatsworth State and Bakewell Town is really pretty to uh, visit as well. Just uh, passing Lady Bower Reservoir here at uh, the Derwent Valley. This is also a nice place to visit. There's some nice walks here. So we are here at the Wallerton Old Hall Garden after two and a half hour drive. The car park is just across the road. If you are like us who like visiting gardens, this is definitely one for the bucket list. It's a delightful garden with stunning rooms, each with different characters as well. Lots of beautiful flowers, clip edges creating a seamless transition from one room to the other. They have amazing collection of plants with flowers attracting many pollinators too. Look at these bees enjoying sipping all the nectar from these lovely salvias. And bees on this link nest. Just look at that. They're just happy. And lots of places to sit down as well when you're tired walking a lovely lovely place very relaxing I think it's about four acre if you carry on walking from the main garden you come to the woodland walk which is really nice and peaceful to stroll around here now this clematis is superb I love the color and the double flower oh it's just amazing and this area is hot the hot border is full of fiery reds and oranges and yellows which give you that lively feeling, summery feeling. Great ideas to bring home for everyone's garden of any size.
and uh, one thing I also notice is everywhere you turn there's lots of points of interest some seating areas whether the pergola or the water feature this nice and neatly clipped structural topiaries topiaries also add to the character of the place and the hedges also add uh, formality to the borders Ah, oh, these pink astromarias are looking fabulous against the clematis behind. The color really nicely blended together. We really enjoyed walking around this garden. I think we had about two hours. So it's time for us to head to the tea room and enjoy and relax a cup of tea. They have a lot of selection of hot or cold lunches and some delightful cakes too. I had two no mayo and Keith had the cream tea. Really, really enjoyed it. Nice relaxing afternoon. After having something to eat, we head to the plant sale, of course, and they have a selection of plants at affordable prices, including many different types of salvias. And, of course, I can't resist buying a salvia. Well, plant, really, but I had to choose the salvia. This place is such a beautiful garden and relaxing place to be. I would definitely come back here. Really, really lovely. We thoroughly enjoyed it. After having a wonderful time at Wallerton Old Hall Gardens, we head to our hotel and checked in for the night. And the next day on our way home, we head to Bidolph Grange Gardens, also in Stoke-on-Trent. Look out for my separate video for this beautiful garden inspired by the East and gardens around the world. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment, hit the like button, and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching.